Alright guys, today we're working on a BF-115 Suzuki 03. Got a fuel pump issue, we were trying to figure out what was going on with it. We turned the key, you don't hear the pump run. Tested it electrically with the test light, we're giving power to the plug itself. We're going to test it here just to prove that uh, the pump's actually getting power here. So we're getting light on the test light, so we know it's getting signal. What we're going to do here is disassemble, take off this manifold so we can get to the fuel pump that's inside of this VST tank here. Um, shouldn't be too complicated. Eight or ten bolts on the manifold, six or seven screws on top of the VST. Uh, we're going to remove a couple ten millimeters here. Just slide this back out of the way for the fuel rail, and we should be able to get to everything. One plug here to disconnect. Let's see. Let's see if we can get into it. There's a little tricky, you have to get a wrench on it. All right, got our 12 millimeter here. Couldn't really get the uh, socket in there, so we had to dig in the box a little bit. Loosen that one up. Now these are all 12 millimeters uh, that are holding on the manifold, the most of the big ones, and then 10 millimeters. I think that's all we're going to end up using on this job um, and a Phillips head just to get the screws out of the BST, but we'll talk to that when we get there. Put that in there for now. These uh, couple 12 millimeters tucked down in here. And we're going to torque all this back together properly when it goes back together, but we're just taking it apart now. Hose in the way here. Get it out of the way a little bit. Just sneak this in there. There we go. And one more here. Hiding behind this rail. Might have to uh, pull a hose off of there so we can move that over a little bit and get it on there. So, see if we can get this in there first. 12 millimeter with the wobble.
got that. And a couple more 10 millimeters here at the top. disconnect this plug while it's still on the machine so we don't have to do it while it's hanging. There we go. Alright. Do a double check here, make sure we uh, don't have anything else holding us on. That we missed. Looking all right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a rubber mallet here, and uh, just give her a little one, two. Oh, we got one more bolt here at the bottom. It felt pretty tight when I was tapping it there. So we can go ahead and uh, get that bad boy out. Last but not least, there's always one hiding. Two hiding. Over here, right on the uh, throttle body. Got the uh, couple of uh, fuel rail bolts. Forgot to take off 10 millimeters. I have to get those real quick. Oh, excuse me, 12 millimeter. Oh, two 12s, top and bottom. This hose here is in between, so we're going to have to pop that off. The reason this fuel pump, I believe, is locked up is because uh, it's been sitting for a, a little while, this engine, and the fuel smelled very contaminated when I opened the rail here to drain it out. To, Try to test fire it up and uh, I kind of had an idea that this was going to be uh, the case anyways. There's the fuel plug just getting that out of the way. All right we got one more fuel line here. It runs in between the manifold we'll have to take out of the way. really stiff it's probably gonna end up replacing this bad boy before this is all said and done let's see if we could sneak that past it when we pull it off here let's see what happens Let's 
stubborn one. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this hose off from the other end. It'll be a little easier this way because it's so stiff. I'm just afraid I'll break it. for ease of use here. One more clamp here at the top to the fuel filter. Or fuel vapor canister. I'm just gonna lay this out of the way right now. Those are all your injectors. They're probably gonna end up needing cleaned also with this dirty fuel, contaminated fuel. I'm assuming they're gonna be clogged, but we won't cross that bridge till we come to it. down here to cool the uh, intake manifold. Disconnect from the rail to the uh, VST itself. Whoop! One more water line here. off with it make it a little easier for us to access now we just got one two three four five Phillips head screws nice fancy Pittsburgh uh, toolkit well kept with a little rust on it that's how you know it gets used holding it up in the air not the most comfortable but figure that'd be the best view come down here we're gonna try to save that gasket gosh if you guys could only smell that fuel Whew. it just smells horrible we got a waste bucket over here we're gonna go dump this in real quick Doesn't look terribly dirty, but it smells horrible. Been in there for quite some time, I'm sure. Very small amount of uh, very small amount of debris in there, but nothing that we can be too concerned of. Now this gasket right here seems to be holding its shape. We don't have. Uh, a too terrible amount of long time to be able to work with this before it'll be out of whack and we'll have to purchase a new gasket 
which we recommend replacing with a new gasket anyways, but if you're in a pinch and you need to get back out on the water and you forgot to buy it, then just be very careful with it. That just pops straight out there like that. plug as you can see down in there there's a little pin on the side to disconnect it let me grab my needle nose here should be able to pop that out there she goes all right there's the culprit right there so we'll uh get our new part tomorrow plug it back in put a little bit of uh grease on our gasket to try to hold it in place we're going to actually put this back together tonight and let it sit overnight just like this to try to hold the shape of the gasket and uh that way i'm going to try to avoid having to buy a new one if possible So um, there's your disassembly to the fuel pump. Um, reassembly would be the same procedure in reverse. Um, as you can see, it wasn't too bad. We were about 10 minutes into it and we got about uh, 12 or 15 volts to work on here. And everything seems to be pretty straightforward. I think it's gonna go back together good. Um, this fuel pump's probably original from 2003 with the engine. Um, we found an aftermarket one online we're going to replace it with and uh, we'll do a reassembly video when, uh, when it comes in. Appreciate it guys.